Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this uh, pandemic. And I hope that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you will know when my videos come out. And please subscribe. By you subscribing to my channel, it helps me to know that you appreciate what I am doing and I thank all of you so much. And my promo is going to be $100 when I get to 1,000 subscribers to a random subscriber who comments. I want to make sure you're not a bot. So if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I will give one subscriber, one random subscriber, $100. So that's my promo. I told you I was going to do it, and I did it. Okay, so originally I was going to do a different video today, but I remember that this month is Women's History Month, and today is Women's Day, so I thought I would do a video about women. So the top 10 women suffrage activists. Okay, These are women that actually you know, helped to shape how women are treated today. Okay, so, many women worked to win the vote for women, but a few stand out as more influential, pivotal than the rest. The organized effort for women's suffrage began most seriously in America and then influenced suffrage movements around the world. So we all know Susan B. Anthony. Okay. Susan B. Anthony was the best known women's suffrage proponent of her time and her fame led to her image gracing a US dollar coin in the late 20th century. She was involved in the 1848 Seneca Falls Women's Right Convention that first proposed the idea of suffrage as a goal for the women's right movement, but she joined soon after. Anthony's most prominent roles were as a speaker and a strategist. Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Elizabeth Cady Stanton worked closely with Anthony, lending her skills as a writer and theorist. Stanton was married with two daughters and five sons, which limited the time she could spend traveling and speaking. She and Lucretia Mott were responsible for calling the 1848 Seneca Falls Convention, and she was the primary writer of the convention's Declaration of Sentiments. Late in life, Stanton stood up controversy by being part of a team that wrote the Women's Bible, an early women's rights supplement to the King James Bible. Alice Paul. Alice Paul became active in the women's suffrage movement in the 20th century. Born well after Stanton and Anthony, Paul visited England and brought, and brought back a more radical, confrontational approach to winning the vote. At the women succeeded in 1920. Paul proposed an equal rights amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Okay. Emmeline Pankhurst. Emmeline Pankhurst and her two daughters, Christabel Pankhurst and Sylvia Pankhurst, were leaders of the more confrontational radical wing of the British suffrage movement. Emmeline, Christabel, and Sylvia Pankhurst were major figures in the founding of the Women's Social and Political Union and are often used to represent the British history of women's suffrage. Carrie Chapman Catt. When Anthony stepped down as president of the National American Women's Suffrage Association in 1900, Carrie Chapman Catt was elected to succeed her. She left the presidency to care for her dying husband and was elected president again in 1915. She represented the more conservative, less confrontational wing that Paul, Lucy, and Burns, and others split from. Cat also helped found for Women's Peace Party and the International Women's Suffrage Association. Okay. Lucy Stone. Lucy Stone was a leader in the American Women's Suffrage Association when the movement split after the Civil War. This organization, considered less radical than Anthony and Stanton's National Women's Suffrage Association, was the larger of the two groups. 
Stone is also famous for her 1855 marriage ceremony that renounced the legal rights that men usually gained over their wives upon marriage and for keeping her last name after marriage. Her husband, Henry Blackwell, was the brother of Elizabeth Blackwell and Emily Blackwell, barrier-busting women physicians. Antoinette Brown Blackwell, an early female minister and a woman suffrage activist, was married to Henry Blackwell's brother. Stone and Antoinette Brown Blackwell had been friends since college. Lucretia Mott. Lucretia Mott was at a meeting of the World's Anti-Slavery Convention in London in 1840 when she and Stanton were relegated to a segregated women's section, though they had been elected as delegates. Eight years later, they, with the aid of Mott's sister, Martha Coffin Wright, brought together the Seneca, women, Seneca Falls Women's Right Convention. Mott helped Stanton draft the Declaration of Sentiments endorsed by that convention. Mott was active in the abolitionist movement and the wider women's rights movement. After the Civil War, she was elected the first president of the American Equal Rights Convention and tried to hold the women's suffrage and abolitionist movements together in that effort. Millicent Garrett Fawcett. Millicent Garrett Fawcett was known for her constitutional approach to gaining the vote for women compared with the more confrontational approach by the Pankhurst. After 1907, she headed the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies. The Fawcett Library repository for such much women's history and archival material is named for her. Her sister, Elizabeth Garrett Anderson, was Britain's first female physician. Lucy Burns. Lucy Burns, a VASA graduate, met Paul when they were active in the British suffrage efforts of the WSPU. She worked with Paul in forming the Congressional Union, first as part of the NAWSA and then on its own. Burns was among those arrested for picketing the White House, imprisoned at Occoquan Workhouse, and force-fed when the women were on hunger strike. Bitter that many women refused to work for suffrage, she led activism and lived a quiet life in Brooklyn. Ida B. Wells Barrett. Known more for her work as an anti-lynching journalist and activist, Ida B. Wells Barnett was also active for women's suffrage and critical of the larger women's suffrage movement for excluding black women. So that is it on the uh, on the ten women, uh, you know, who uh, were women's act, uh, suffrage activists. Okay. Uh, I will try to do another video next week. I'm not sure yet about what I'm going to do it on, but again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that bell notification and subscribe to my channel. Remember my promo. You help me to get to 1,000 subscribers, okay? I will be giving a free, uh, not free, but I will be giving $100 to a random subscriber, okay? But you must comment so that I know you're not a bot, okay? I will probably be doing my... Um, my Mets uh, spring training video tomorrow or an, uh, another home remedies video. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, but it's one or the other. I thank you and I will see you tomorrow.